man, 2K just don't care anymore. They just do not care anymore. And it's it's actually sad. It's actually sad. Like, like I've seen... I've seen enough from, like, publications talking about a licensing issue. Like, there are a lot of publications that have been talking about the licensing issue. And then there's also a comment. I need to see if I can find the comment right here. Um, that I wonder, I wonder how true this is, because if you guys don't know the, um, the situation with Corey, when Corey said there are NDAs talking about this, I wonder how true this comment is in general. So there's this comment that I read and it's basically said this, I know the reason, um, myself like Otis have signed the NDA regarding this and I, I just don't I don't know how true this is but it is like an alternate viewpoint saying there's nothing to do with take two or NBA saying 2k should come out looking clean and they should have taken measures I've seen this comment has been put on more than one of my videos and I don't know I, I doubt it's real but either way they're spineless 2k are absolutely spineless and for anyone saying, even if there's NDAs about it, they're spineless. You know the message they put in Discord? That should have been flashed on the front screen of the, men on the, front screen of the game. That should have been posted on Twitter. You're abs they're absolutely spineless doing it on Discord. But, um, yeah, either way, um, look, they just don't care anymore. Like, this set is a joke. An absolute joke. These three are scrubs. And, like, not even... Like, you guys don't know, Kyle Cor or not Kyle Corver, um, Tyler Hero is like a deceptively really popular player. He is a deceptively really popular player. Um, and when it comes to Kyle Corver, it's not Kyle Corver, Jesus, Tyler Hero. I was in the Philippines and everyone was wearing Tyler Hero stuff. So, yeah. He is more popular than you think, but at the same time, like... What's the, um, you can't, you're going to get them if you lock in. You need 600k for them because these packs are rigged. We all know that this pack is rigged. So basically now, um, you've got like, what's it called? Bionic? I don't know what the hell Bionic is. These are just names now. These are just names. Like... <laughs> 2K genuinely don't care. I just don't. Like, if 2K had any, like... Like, you're even seeing... It's now getting mainstream news how bad this is. And as well as uh, getting mainstream, NBA players like Terrence Ross are basically just stopping the game. They're like, this is a disgrace. This is a joke. So, like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like... It would make so much sense from 2K's perspective to give us something. To give us something this week. And, like... The only thing they did actually give us, playoff pack update, plus first round of playoffs, be sure to set, um, new recap challenge group on Tuesday, May the 7th, this group will feature new player cards to earn, um, performances like Derek White's, cool, we're getting playoff moments, alright, alright, that's something, that's something, but like, they're, I can guarantee you they're not going to be as good as they were in 2K22, when we got, you know what, you know what we got at the end of the first round of NBA 2K22, lads, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. For anyone being like, oh, it's a dub, we're going to get moments cards. One, we haven't seen a moments card other than in Domination since January the 16th. Two, we also did get a Derek White card at the end of the first round. Was he the end of the first round of the playoffs? Um, I don't think he was the first round, actually. No, he was the second round of the playoffs. I'm trying to think who was the first round of the playoffs. The Dinwiddie... Um, no, it was these. This is what we got at the end of the first round of the playoffs two years ago. For free. Dark Matter, Dark Matter, Dark Matter, Dark Matter. Opal, 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 Opal. Dark Matter, Dark Matter. Four Dark Matters and four Opals. I can guarantee you we're not getting four Dark Matters and four Opals on Tuesday. That's for sure. That's for sure. I can guarantee you we're not getting that. I can guarantee, um, we're probably going to be getting a Derek White card and... He might be the headliner as a freaking like pink diamond for all we know. Salary cap round three. 
you're now literally we're going running through the 17th of May that scrub Tony Parker. At least the Kembe is in the game for people that got salary cap, I guess. Um, and at least Kevin McHale is going to be a beast. If you guys don't know anything about Kevin McHale, the guy's got the he's, he's Dino. He's going to be Dark Matter Dino. He's six ten. He's going to get the dribble sigs. Um, like people don't really know about him, but I'm telling you, the man is Dino. He's got the reason why. Dino Raja has a 7 foot 11 wingspan in game has actually got nothing to do with um, Dino Raja having a 7 foot 11 wingspan ironically enough the reason is purely that they made Dino Raja Kevin McHale whereas like Kevin McHale actually has the 8 foot long wingspan in real life so um, yeah you've got um, you've got these right here you get oh, pink diamond Trey Young for 25. For halfway there, you get pink diamond Trey Young. Like, of course, they had to go and give us Trey Young. Oh, like, they actually just. It's actually sad. It's actually sad. Like, like, you would think. And, like, there are certain things that 2K I know that they can't change. There are certain things that, like, obviously they have to plan for and they can't change last minute. But, like, when you've seen the uproar that this game mode is ca has caused right now, when you've seen the uproar in the community, when you've seen all this uproar, give us a better card. Give us Pink Diamond Paul George. At least with Pink Diamond Paul George, you've got a shooting guard you can argue makes most people's teams. Heck, give us a Galaxy Opal for 25 wins. Give us a Galaxy Opal Sean Marion. But no, you can't give us Galaxy Opals because they were in gambling situations and they've gone and probably made it up in their own minds oh if we make, release the card gambling people will complain about that too whereas if you look in the game and looking at the free cards all they've done every single monday and thursday they have released a card that was previously free they took them away and then started putting them in the game that you could buy like it is it's an embarrassment it's an absolute embarrassment of a game an absolute embarrassment of a company and like i'm not even talking about the kobe situation and i will say like if 2K, if 2K24 wasn't such an embarrassment, this would not, we would not be talking about this in nearly as bad a way. Like, if this was just an isolated Kobe incident and it had been a good game, we might give them the benefit of the doubt. We might give, um, we might give them the benefit of the doubt. But why would we ever give 2K the benefit of the doubt? Like, if you want to look at this, um, all, every single one of these cards, every single one of these cards wilt was free um david robinson was free he was free ingram was free they literally the players they chose to put in the player market were the free cards they took away like that might be more scummy than the kobe situation the player market what they've done to it is unbelievably bad too like this is not this is more than kobe this is more than kobe by the way this is absolutely more than kobe they don't care anymore they actually are do making decisions to spite us. That's why when I had my poll and I said 2K hate us, like it's not out of the realm of possibility that they're doing this to spite us. And they hoped that we didn't have a big enough um a big enough pull to make any change. And I'm so happy you're seeing LSK, you're seeing Terrence Ross, the NBA player, you're seeing so many articles, you're seeing Herb fighting for us. Shout out to Herb, because if he didn't post it initially, you wouldn't have seen um the Forbes article, you wouldn't have seen the Mirror Sports. There's a whole bunch of articles about this. Shout out to all these guys. Shout out to Bucks Nelson. Shout out to Ty. Shout out to everyone on Twitter that's trying to make this a big deal. Shout out to everyone who's tagging journalists in this because it's unacceptable. And not just Kobe. Kobe's the final straw. Kobe was the final straw for a game mode where we are not fully sure if the company are making decisions to spite their player base. Like, how bad does a game mode have to be when you're actually... There's no way. There is no way that um, we can fully say with confidence and no matter how much you're pro 2K. And shout out to the TT Offline Maestro for commenting something negative about 2K. He didn't come out of his own mouth, but he quoted 2K's response with an unbelievably negative, negative tweet. And he's literally there on Reddit trying to say everything he can without, I don't know, trying to torch his relationship with 2K. And fair play, I'm not going to give that guy credit. 
I'm not going to give the guy credit ever. Fair play. You know it's bad when he can't say a positive word about this game right now. It's just pathetic. It is just absolutely pathetic. And I hate that I'm currently tied down to this. Um, my second channel is doing re my channel is doing reader you well right now. Um, my basketball channel is doing really really well right now so shout out to all you guys for the support like i'm not gonna link it and if you don't if you're not interested in basketball content trust me i'm not don't don't subscribe if you do want to listen to basketball but again this channel is doing really well you can see for a brand new channel that i realistically started from scratch from zero 11 days ago so many of these videos 1k 1.2k 2.7k 1.6k 1.8k 1k like these videos are getting consistently five six seven hundred views and that's a week so shout out to you guys but like that's the that's the thing is like i hate the fact that there's going to be a stage for a while like i'm gonna be doing some squad builders and i'm gonna see if i can get onto people's accounts that have got the players because i don't think I don't think the argument of you don't want to spend money on the game. Like, I, I'm willing to spend money. On, I, I'm, I have the money. I just don't want to give 2K the money. If someone's already done it and is willing to let me use their account, um, like, as one less person spending money on the game, and I just want to make content to entertain people. But at the end of the day, um, gambling cards will not be used for the rest of the year by me in any squad builders or anything. Um, and I'm, I'm not spending another cent on this game. As far as real money goes. I'm going to run my No Money Spend Squad. A video every couple of weeks probably. But like. With the way the game's going right now. I, I feel sick even playing the game. Like that's all I can say. Like I've got a. I've got a series that's going to be coming out. Um, at the weekend. I've got like a new series that I'm. Was really looking forward to doing. Like a daily series. Um planning on getting that done around Le lebron james but like i just it's so hard making making content for a game where you know the company where you can't confidently say the company's not making decisions to spite you I, I think you actually can't confidently say that which is scary which is absolutely scary but like and i don't think they are by the way I don't think 2K are making decisions to spite their player base, but I can't confidently say, like I can't say with certainty that they're not doing it anymore. Whereas I used to be able to do that. Um, it's a really sad week for my team, but it's been a sad week in a sad year. Um, like 2K23 was bad. 2K23 my team was bad. And I don't think anyone will ever argue otherwise. NBA 2K23, was my team was not a very good game mode. They did a good job in June, but other than that one month, it wasn't a good job. They didn't do a good job. But you could tell at times that 2K did kind of care, but something changed. Man, something changed the day the bans happened. And I don't mean that in like 2K banned us all, but something changed. If you guys remember back to that day, back to then, 2k banned everyone and nobody really complained we all bought empty so we all took our bans like we all took our bans and there's been empty bans from the beginning of time but then banning every single player from entering 250 even on an alternate account so there were people that made 250 playing on burners and they just didn't care and we knew like we knew people were going to be playing on burners and they just couldn't care less and like if you look at the 250k tournament they let people they've let people play on burners in the past they let people cheat in the past but you know they wanted to make a point and then a few weeks later they unfollowed us all on the my team twitter page with the amethyst pegasus all situation and then right after that the the devs that we were cool with like like we were cool with the some of these dev or what one dev specifically like one of them unfollowed me long before that but we were cool with this dev when he was a content creator like, we were not particularly, like, whatever about myself, I wasn't particularly close. Ty was. And then being made by higher-ups to unfollow. Unfollow us on Twitter. It, like, and not only that, they were only allowed to interact publicly with a certain 
certain like type of content creator, certain person in their audience. They weren't even allowed. It was like, it almost seemed like they weren't even allowed to say anything. And even if it was like, if we came out with something that was incorrect information, they couldn't, I don't even think they could correct us. It was that bad. It had gotten that bad. And like, I've definitely tweeted some speculation stuff based on what I've seen and I'm being wrong. Whereas normally you would expect like them to at least say, yeah, this isn't the case or something like they used to do. Or back in the day, if I tweeted something that was just incorrect information, I get a DM being like, yeah, just a heads up. This is wrong information. And I'd apologize, take something down. Whereas even that stopped. Even that stopped. And it just has created a toxic relationship between 2K and the community. And this doesn't help either. This whole Kobe situation. And you've not only, like you've pissed off the biggest group of people that play this game. You, or not biggest. You've picked off your, pissed off your biggest money makers. Unfortunately, like we've seen, from this tweet right here. These are both the same person who I've obviously blocked out everything. All I wanted was collector level Kobe. I gave up. And now even after Kobe's not the collector level, um, finally I'm going bankrupt tomorrow. Even right away afterwards. And then you've also got... Um, and I actually don't... Look, I don't mind this guy. Like, you do what you do for money. Like, you do what you do. But like... This is the most, like, absolutely tone-deaf title to a video I've ever seen. Like, this is tone-deaf. And, like, I kind of get it in the, like, I don't really... Having the I don't give a damn about anything attitude. But it's, like, people got scammed 20,000. Just because you spend that much money but you make it back you make quite a lot of money back just because you make your money back on packs doesn't mean that these people do just because you get like people get certain people getting scammed on 2k um doesn't necessarily affect you because even if you got scammed as well you can laugh about it because you're making the money back for some people it does and for some people as far as i'm aware to keep up a collector level the whole time the cost was about i think if you got extremely lucky it was $10,000. And if you were extremely unlucky, it was about 30,000. That's basically what um people were saying in like people that have done it and some people have spent upwards of like nearly 30,000 and they basically have said that if you get extremely lucky, it's around 10 to 15,000 plus about 1500 hours of playing the game. And if you're extremely unlucky, it's about $30,000 with the same amount of grinding. It's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And they're so spineless, they couldn't even address it publicly. And they won't address it publicly. That comment I read at the start about NDAs, even if that's true, there's no reason for them not to be able to. And the one re there's actually one specific reason why I would not lean towards there being some sort of an NDA that I would say something. There's something that's happened. I think 2K, and someone pointed this out to me yesterday. 2K did not mention Kobe Bryant in this Discord post. 2K did not mention the name Kobe Bryant. So I don't know if that's them trying. That's one of two things. Either they can't or they're actively trying to hide what they've done. And it, I don't know, maybe they're trying to hide it. Either way, either way. This whole year, man, is proof that they don't care. And even if the Kobe Bryant thing is out of their hand, we don't have to speculate. We have an entire year worth of evidence, as shown by my main channel video, that they actually just don't care anymore. They actually just don't care. Like, this video, obviously, I don't think is going to do particularly well in the algorithm. Like, it's not a major video, but I really want to make it. I really did want to make this video. And I do think that this is important to have. Like, the DBG channel now is almost like an archive and I post there certain videos that I want to. This is now my let's talk nonsense about my team channel. Um, but like, it is just, it's such a sad, sad, sad time for, um, for my team. And it, the saddest part is, is that 2K almost certainly just don't give a damn anymore.